Right. A force of 200 Newton is acting at a point due east. A second force of 400 Newton is acting at a point at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal. Find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force and write the resultant vector in terms of unit vector. Okay, first of all, let, let us draw the, we call vector diagram. Okay, let us draw the vector diagram. We have a 200 Newton due east. That means go, 200 Newton going to east. Okay, so we have this one. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, this is the one. We have 200 Newton going to the east. 200 Newton. And then we have a second force, 400 Newton, uh, acting at the same point, 30 degree to the horizontal. That means... We have a 400 Newton here, uh, 400 Newton, uh, okay, 400 Newton, uh, 30 degree to the horizontal, uh, yeah, uh, this is this is the horizontal line, uh, 30 degree to the horizontal, so maybe uh, we should draw, you know, the axis, uh, we should draw the axis, uh, this is my our axis, uh, we have the x axis and then we have the y axis. Uh, we have the x-axis. Uh, the 200 Newton is on the x-axis. Okay, and then for, for 400 Newton is 30 degree. Okay, find the magnitude or and direction of the resultant force. So uh, first of all, okay, resultant means the total force. Okay, if you look at here, this resultant it means total force. Uh, total. We need to find the total force. And then we need to write in terms of unit vector. Uh, this is important. Unit vector means uh, ij form. Yeah, the ij. Uh, uh, so, uh, okay. First of all, let us, um, we need to resolve this 400 Newton into x and y component. Okay. Uh, resolve it. Okay. Resolve into uh, the x and y. Okay, so we have here, uh, this is the x component and this is the y component. Okay, so uh, we know that uh, we have uh, adjacent to the angle uh, is cos theta. Okay, opposite to the angle is sin theta. Like this one, the x component, you have angle. If you have angle, means uh, cos, uh, cosine, you use cos theta. So this, uh, this is 400 uh, cos 30, okay. Uh, the x component and then this this one has uh, we can say no angle we are we are going to uh, use this 30 degree for this one so we consider like no angle no angle we use sine th uh, sine theta okay or we can say this is actually the opposite yeah this is the opposite to this angle so this is the opposite opposite we use sine theta uh, okay so this is 400 sine 30 okay Ah, uh, so now uh, we have all this. Uh, so uh, okay, now we can write it out. Uh, first of all, um, okay. So uh, total f x, okay. Uh, the x component total f x is equal to. Uh, we can say total f x is equal to. Okay, you see, in the x component we have two hundred and four hundred cos thirty. Uh, two hundred. Uh, plus uh, 400 uh, cos 30. Ah, okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, so let's find out the answer. What is this answer? Okay, so we get uh, the answer is 546.41. Uh, 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 after adding up, uh, the force in the X component is uh, 546. Uh, right Newton okay uh, that that is the x component and then the y component we only has the 400 sine 30 okay so write it down uh, the total fy uh, total fy is a uh, 400 uh, sine 30 okay 400 sine 30 so what is 400 sine 30 let's calculate yeah it is 200 Newton ah okay uh, so we can say that um, the x component, okay, uh, this is the the x component. Uh, uh, the unit vector is i. The y component unit vector is j. Okay, uh, i j, uh, unit vector. Yeah, that means i is the one unit in x x direction. J is one unit in y direction. Okay, and then so now we uh, can write the resultant vector. 
Okay, we want to write the resultant vector in unit vector form. Okay, in unit vector form means uh, like this. You write like this. So total F, the resultant force, uh, uh, this, um, this sigma means resultant. Resultant force is equal to, uh, write like this, 546.41i, uh, because it is in the X component. X component using I unit vector i and then um you know uh this s component now is to the right ah uh, we need to be careful with the, the direction also ah uh, direction to the right is uh, positive for s component direction to the left is negative ah uh, direction upward is positive direction downward is uh, negative so so for for this one you calculate uh, these 200 and 400 cos 30, they all go to the right. Uh, they all go to the right. So this one, uh, 546, they are positive. Uh, they are positive. Understand? And then this uh, 400 sine 30 is going up. Going up. So it also belong to the positive. Uh, so this Fy also positive. Uh, that's why our 546 is positive. Uh, positive I. Understand? Is uh, positive. And then, uh, and then uh, our 200 also positive, uh, positive uh, 200J. Uh, so that's our answer. Uh, and then you must write the unit. In the end, you must write the unit, uh, Newton. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, that's the unit vector form. Okay. The, mag uh, the magnitude. Uh, actually, this is... Um, uh, oh, we need to find first of all. We, we okay. This is the resultant vector in unit vector form. Okay, uh, write it down. This is uh, what we call uh, unit vector form. Okay, this is unit vector form. Uh, resultant vector in unit vector form. We also need to find the magnitude and direction. Uh, I forget this part. Yeah. Uh, one, one is we want to find the magnitude and direction. Another one is to find the resultant vector in unit vector form. So we have done the second part actually. Uh, uh, the ij one is for resultant vector in unit vector form. We also need to find the magnitude and direction uh, of the resultant force. So how to find the magnitude and direction? Uh, so actually, once you have uh, these uh, resultant force in unit vector form, you also can find the magnitude easily. Okay, find the magnitude easily. Uh, so that means uh, magnitude, that means uh, we write this. Uh, modulus means magnitude. Okay, uh, the modulus here means magnitude. Uh, so the magnitude of this uh, total force, okay, uh, so just take the... For the, the i uh, square and then the j also square, uh, so it, like this, okay, 546.41 uh, square plus uh, 200 uh, square, square root, uh, it is actually Pythagoras theorem, you understand, it is actually Pythagoras theorem, uh, so what do we get, let, let, let's calculate. Okay, so we get uh, the answer is uh, 581.86 Newton. Uh, that's the magnitude. Uh, you understand? So, this, this is actually, okay, do you know what do you do the Pythagoras theorem? Actually, this uh, ij, this, uh, actually this is the x component, this is the total fx, and this is the total fy. Uh, so, you actually can write it out uh, back again, yeah? You can write it back again. That means uh, you get something like this. Uh, this is the uh, 546.41, okay? Uh, this is actually the total fx, total fx, yeah? And then this is the uh, total fy. Uh, this is the total fy, uh, 200. Okay, uh, so that's why you do the Pythagoras theorem to find the magnitude. Uh, the magnitude means uh, these two combined. Uh, these two combined. Uh, so this is the what we call the total force. Uh, this total force is 586.86 Newton. Ah, this is uh, what, what that's why we do Pythagoras theorem. We got the this one, the magnitude of this force. 
Uh, okay? That's the thing. So now, uh, we want to find direction also. Okay? Direction, that means uh, you need to know uh, what's the direction of this total force. Okay? Uh, total force. Uh, so, uh, you need to find this angle. You need to find this angle. Uh, yeah, this is the x direction. Okay? So, we need to know how much angle above the x axis. Uh, so, let's find out. Let's find out. So, we can use... Um, we can use maybe tangent theta. Okay. Uh, tangent theta is equal to, we always take the Fy over Fx. Uh, because tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. That means 200, uh, 200 over uh, 546.41. Uh, okay. So let's calculate. Yeah. Let us calculate. Ah, okay, so we got the angle theta is equal to a 20.1 uh, degree. Ah, so, uh, this is the direction. Uh, direction, uh, we got the answer already, direction. But be careful, we don't just give the angle only. Yeah? You must say which, uh, which uh, quadrant. Uh, what I mean by which quadrant is you need to say uh, above or below positive x-axis. Ah, you must write this also. Yeah, remember to write this. 20.1 degree. Uh, for this case, uh, it is above the positive x-axis. Uh, this is the positive x-axis. So this is 20.1 degree above uh, positive x-axis. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, so that's the answer. That's the, that's the direction. Uh, direction. You must write uh, 20.1 degree above the positive x-axis. Uh, and this is the magnitude of the total force. And uh, this, is the, uh, this is the resultant force in unit vector form, ij form. Okay? Okay, hope you understand yeah, everything. Okay, uh, if you're happy with this uh, solution, uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.